Well, so just doing a bit of evening work on this. Uh, we've had a couple of hot days. But um, yeah, the plan is uh, to try and just touch over this uh, with the sandblaster in the morning and paint it because they're talking about rain on Monday. Uh, so I would like to get it rust protected. In the meantime, for a paint, I wouldn't mind tidying up this uh, hack job they did at the back, whoever had it before or whoever did that. I know who had it before, but I'm not sure that he did that. And this bird shit world, because they obviously it was a taut liner at one stage and they've cut off the all the other stuff, but they made an absolute mess of this. Just terrible. Unbelievable the job they did. So I measured that out. It'll be even because that's the way we like it. And you can see a C here, a little bit of a, a bit of a surface rust after a couple of dewy nights. So we'll knock that off pretty quickly. So the plan is a few little jobs on, on it in the morning and then tomorrow afternoon I'll get to paint it. Hopefully. Undercoat. Yeah. You know, best laid plans and all that, eh? Anyway. I need a shave. Look at that. I look bloody rugged as hell. Ah, oh, well, what you gonna do? Good morning. And what are we doing this morning? We are... Yeah, virtually not. Ah, uh, it's time to try and tidy this up before we uh, finish our sandblasting and go painting. Let's see if we can turn it around and you don't have to look at me. I did consider getting the plasma cutter out, but um, no, I think we'll see how we go with this. It is, it's pretty thick, but um, oh, well, we'll get there. Measured up. Well, we've done those cuts. That went all right. Uh, I'm just not, just not relying on myself to do a nice straight cut freehand for that distance. So we'll just get a bit of help, a bit of guidance, as it were. Well, how are you going now? Anyway, we're going to try and remove some of this other crap too. Bird shit worlds and all sorts of things, whatever went on here. Uh, yeah, I mean this is super totally superfluous on here, so we'll get rid of that. That'll tidy it up a bit with my little chisel to get in there. Excellent. You can. You can. All right, now we've got the big guns out. Now we've opened that up. Let's get rid of this piece of crap. Bit of heat. And she's off as easy as you like. Here we go again. Not exactly ideal, but uh, we're reclaiming some of this stuff because we're a couple of fills short. Uh, so it doesn't look that uh, just a thin film of rust until you actually go over it again and realize it's actually gotten surprisingly rusty since it was done. I mean, it wasn't. It was only quick, it was done properly, but needed another going over first time around, so it's not so bad in that respect, but um, yeah. Anyway, hopefully this fill will do it. Uh, but uh, getting a bit of a workout, which is what I need. And so it can suitably farmer chic, as it were. Wow, even, what are we, back in the 70s now, are we? In the old button drought back from those days but but anyway you get the picture what a thing of beauty it'll be so last night that's a bit of a pain in the ass i've got to give this another light i mean it won't take long but it's got to have another light sandblasting bloody hell ah jeez well, boys and girls, they've got it back to where it should be. Now, hopefully the rain stays away like it's supposed to. Not supposed to rain until about six tonight. What do you reckon? That would be frustrating if I have to do it again. But anyway, well, I guess I reckon uh, this breeze drops, we'll uh, give the painting a go. That'll be good. Well, as they say in the classics, wouldn't that root you? I was literally about to get the, uh, open the pot and open the tin of paint to pour it because I went forecasting rain until 6 o'clock 
It looked pretty well right. I mean, it was only it was only half past twelve at that stage. Yeah, a bit after one now. And look at that. Not a lot of rain, but it's enough to make it wet. So this time I've covered it with a tarp or series of tarp patchwork, whatever you want to call it. So we'll see if that stops it rusting or stops it rusting a lot. It's not great. Uh, it's all we can do. We tried and failed. I've had it before doing projects like this where you usually say the word paint and suddenly little shares pop up out of nowhere or the wind comes up or something just to, you know, add that degree of excitement and uh, intrigue to it. Oh well. What you gonna do? Yeah, sheep. Isn't that a picture? <laughs> wow, isn't that a picture? Oh, looks like we got our pressure washer back. Anyway, off to home. Now for a bit of ad blue fun. Oh, gee whiz. I think I need two hands, but the decanted method works pretty well. Oh, well, we're getting our FBN delivery. FBN have uh, decided to leave, but uh, at, least, at least we're getting our gear, so there's that. Very good. Just give us a bit more room. That will also be nice. And we have it. Nice. I'll just pull out of the way for him. Wow, so that's the end of FBN. Farm freight, freight direct. Yeah. Catch you later. See ya. Oh boy, now it's sunny. It rained for a bit. Anyway. Better put that in the shed and before it gets uh, anything bad happens to it. Would you believe? 25 kilos. I think it's at $750 and that's well priced for this. Very well priced. I've heard all newer stuff being a lot worse than that. So, so an update in the uh, trailer saga. We're going to take this uh, these tarps off and... Have another go at sandblasting and see if we can get it painted. Well, not tonight, but tomorrow. Hopefully it's not dewy overnight. Because uh, they're forecasting more rain. When are they not forecasting rain? When you mention paint and bare metal. <laughs> anyway, we will try again. What else can you do? So that's what we're left with. Yowzers. Morning there. Well, first thing, today we're just going to see if this uh, fella wants to start so we can get to the truck. So when I finish sandblasting for, before potentially painting this trailer, uh, there's sort of weather around that uh, I do have the option of actually putting it under cover, cover because I don't want to have to sandblast again. Ah, uh, it's the fun. But, um, no, so the forecast, it's what is it, eight, 8 in the morning, done a little bit of work, but there's been a couple of spots already. Forecasting rain at 7.30 tonight, but the radar shows there could be little dribs and drabs throughout the day, so I want to try and protect myself against that and finally get it done. Anyway, we'll see how we go starting this tractor. Well, that's a positive start. Excellent. Duh. Alright, we did. Let's better check the oil. Yes, there's oil in there, that's good. Very nice indeed. Oil, fuel. Let's crank this up. Get away and try and finish at least blasting it. We've uh, had a good morning so far in as much as not so good in as much as that we had the uh, spots of rain which sort of threatened our progress and I think there's going to be more coming. However, 
they've tidied up some of these cuts that were done on this uh, magnificent uh, trailer here we've also managed to finally straighten out this uh, edge pretty well there's a few things they obviously had something run into it here but we pushed that out now that it's not as obvious taking the jacks away so we can just hook on the tra on the uh, semi and get it out of here too out of the weather um yeah so anyway i'll try and finish sandblasting and see what we get do from there i suppose beautiful so we finally got it sandblasted but while it's sunny now the forecast is rain and i don't doubt it we had a few spots even <laughs> Uh, maybe about half an hour ago, so I'm not trusting it um, So I'm going to put it in the hook on put it in the shed, which will probably be better anyway So I might have to just get out and check on how things are going And try and remember how to hook onto a trailer could be fun. Anyway, we'll get there Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, it looks nice. That's why I'm a bit afraid we're out four in the afternoon. We've only got a an hour or what, like two or three hours. And I think by the time we get rid of the paint, I just yeah. Oh this thing it might be pushing it. Uh, that's the story of the day. Let's see how we get on. Nice! Well we got it in here. So that's good. But you know, Murphy's Law or Sod's Law or whatever you want to call it. Now I've done this, put it in. Won't rain, I could have painted it probably. Time will tell, but we've uh, been caught just a couple of times already, so I don't really want to take a chance. And I'm very happy with how it's coming together. Looks nice. Going to be good, I think. Going to be. Really good, that's better. Nice, I better stop the truck now and uh, go and have a look at these sheep. 